not too far off the main road of the new town of Byram is what once was the main road of the old town. The Byram Swinging Bridge, built in 1905, is one of only four suspension bridges left in Mississippi. For many years, it was the only span across the Pearl River. An 18-wheeler was the last vehicle to cross the bridge, or at least attempt to, in 1987. The load was too heavy, and the bridge was closed to traffic. Yeah, people just vandalized it, and it, it, was a, it, was, it was a sad thing to see it in disrepair, for sure. Chris Beggerly's family owns land on the Rankin County side of the bridge. When I grew up in Byram, that was our hangout on Saturday night or Friday night after a football game. We'd go to the bridge and hang out there. Fond memories of the bridge are common around Byram. Mention the swinging bridge to anyone old enough to have crossed it in a car and you'll get a smile. So this used to be the, the cut through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we used to have fun crossing it too. Yeah, kind of like being on a, a roller coaster for us back then, you know, didn't have a lot to do out here in the country. With every step you take on the swinging bridge, you can actually feel it move. It is quite a sensation and one that a lot of younger folks around here may never have experienced. But when the weather changes this fall, that's going to change too. Today, the bridge is being restored. New boards replace the damaged ones. Railings are going up on either side and lights are installed so people can see the bridge at night. A new paint job covers the sturdy frame. Although it bounces and what have you, it's extremely strong. Uh, the cables run not only above ground, but they also run underneath the river, I'm told. And it's just a unique, unique design for, for this particular bridge. It's, it's one of a kind. And as a symbol of the city of Byram, it's a point of pride for people here. People excited about preserving it for future generations. Well, it's important to our history, our kids in this area and all. You know, I want my kids to be able to, to have their kids, my grandkids, come up and, and see the Swinging Bridge and see what it was like living here in Byron before it became such a city. Terry has its depot and Raymond has its courthouse, but uh, this, is, this is a unique symbol for the town of Byron. It, it's a wonderful place for people to come and visit and see a piece of history. Beneath the pin oaks and sycamores on the Swinging Bridge in Byram, I'm Ken South for Southbound.